What is going on, YouTube? It's your boy Spanko here with my boy David Hartford. I got the full name here because people got to know what just happened today. Uh, we were at the Toronto Regional, it's cleared out now, uh, but yep. he came top 16, 15th place with a deck you'll probably never guess, except it's probably in the thumbnail and the title, so you guys probably know what it is. But it's Drytron, which is insane. I would yep. never have expected that deck to do good. Um, so, David, I'm going to let you take over, talk about your day. Sounds good. Um, how did you feel about the deck? All that stuff. Go ahead. Yeah, it was good. Um, you know, I've been playing this deck for like a really long time since it came out, but I put it away for a little bit. So it felt good to pick it up again. Um, playing in like locals and stuff, like it did really, really well. And uh, just coming into the event today, I just kind of tweaked a few things. So I'll talk about it there. All right. Yeah. Uh, you want to just get right into it? Yeah, we'll Perfect. get right into it. So, I mean, obviously, this is standard for any Drytron players, but uh, I play three uh, Alpha, um, three Zeta. Uh, two Gamma and two Delta. Um, I chose the ratios. I know some people play three, 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 three. Um, I try to keep my deck as close to 40 as possible. Um, I do play 42 cards, but um, I had zero problems with this ratio all day. Um, I bricked twice and the times I did brick, um, I ended up losing the match. But whenever I had cards to play with, um, I ended up winning. So, I mean, maybe there's some reason to play three, 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 but it was pretty good otherwise. Yep. Oh, also, just before we continue here, I know one of your losses, you, you went X2 today? Yeah. So one of your losses was actually to Josh, who came first place. Yeah. So, I mean, if you're going to lose to anyone... Yeah, no, it felt really good because uh, Josh is a great guy, and when I play him in locals too, he's uh, he always expulsions me, but... Oh, I, okay, I, I, well... It's, all, it's like a friendly, like, kind of rivalry. Almost. Rivalry, yeah. yeah. It's nice. But, um, yeah, one of my losses to, was to Josh, so it was all right. Don't feel too bad about that one. So we played some fairies. Um, we played one Vanity's Ruler. One Herald of Orange Light, one Diviner, one Lancia. Um, these were great. I don't see any reason to play more than one Diviner. Um, the one normal summon was fine. Vanity's Ruler was like the main play. Every single time I had combo, I was going to go Vanity's Ruler no matter what. Um, and you always just search this and this on turn one. So these are perfect. Wouldn't change that. How did you feel about Lancia today? Like, I know it's okay, but like, it's not, I guess, super great in today's format. Yeah. Or do you think otherwise? Um, I don't mind it. It like shuts off some cards. Like if you're playing cash and they want to start off with a prosp, um, I think Lancia is pretty good. I played some Sword Soul players today. They couldn't go into 10 E lines. Um, and Lancia, like when I set up Vanities and then Lancia on your turn, you can, I'm not risking like getting Gamut or anything because I have okay. Vanities. So I just like shotgun the Lancia and it just puts them on a the clock. So if they can't do anything, then you just go to game two. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, one of the best cards in my opinion was uh, Kari Kara. I didn't actually like summon this too often, but it works really, really well with the deck because one, it's a level one, so you can use that and and uh, Drytron to make move beta Fafnir. Um, it's also a fairy, so when you send um, or when you activate Herald of Orange Light, you can send this with the cost. Oh, okay. Um, and it's like just really, really good to extend it into your plays. So Curry Card was awesome. Uh, I played the triple Ben Ten and one Natasha. Um, Natasha was like the best card in my deck. If I had to pick one card that was like the best, it was Natasha. She was just like MVP all day, just stole games. I played against a Sword Soul guy. He ended up on like Chijo, uh, Blackout, and Baron. And I had one Drytron on board, and I was gonna go for like a Natasha play. And he didn't end up black uh, using Blackout on my two monsters, so I made IP so he couldn't use Blackout. Then I use Natasha, steals Chijo, turn off Blackout. Then I use Natasha again, or I made Pearl Sword. Natasha again, steal uh, Baron, and then... Uh, Natasha's not a hard one's pretend, right? No, it's not. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, so you can keep re recycling it. Yeah, it's crazy. And I gained like 6,000 life points that turn too. So <laughs> Natasha's crazy. Yeah. That's wild. It's wild. Um, the backup play was Magician of Black Chaos Max. Um, if you can't go to Vanity's Ruler, Magician is really good. Turns off a lot of plays, can't use monster effects while um, on the turn that you summon it. So you summon it back on your opponent's turn with uh, Dynamondo, which is one of the new cards in the recent set. So this one will, allows you to special summon this back on your opponent's turn, and then that turn you can't use monster effects. Um, so that's kind of like another pseudo lock as well. So that's kind of the backup play if you can't go to Vanity's Ruler. Um, played one Draconids. Um, it's really good because it's a you can use this for like your fodders for ritual summoning because it's a machine. Um, also, can't be targeted by monster effects and it's just a pop two. Didn't really come up today, but it's like I wouldn't cut it. It's really good. Mm -hmm. uh, and then consistency cards. We play three Cyber Emergency um, and three Nova and one Fafnir. Um, I wouldn't change it. I mean, you can kind of mess around with like two Drytron Nova and one Fafnir, or and two two and two on these ones, but. Um, 
at the end of the day, it's kind of the same result. So I played cards that wouldn't lose as, as hard to droll. Whereas if you like Fafnir search Nova and they droll you, it kind of sucks. So I'd rather just like summon out a body with Nova. So that was pretty good. Um, I played as well two prep. Um, you could cut it to one because it's searchable off of uh, Thrust, which I also play in here. Um, but like prep was really good. Help me like search Ben 10 and then you just, you can combo. As soon as you can get like a name and Ben 10 revolving, you basically can combo. So like this is really good just to add Ben 10. Um, and then, so I'm playing Thrust, so I'm playing... Oh, I was gonna say, I saw yeah. one Dark Ruler, I was like, what? That yeah. doesn't make no sense. Yeah, okay, yeah. Now it makes a little more sense. Yeah, so I'm playing two Thrust, um, and then a bunch of, like, power spells. So, two Thrust is good, because you're not gonna break on three, but two allows you to play three ofs of all these other spells, basically. So, like, t Thrust was really good, I played one Dark Ruler for that. One Change of Heart, one Tactics, one Foolish, one Harpies. Um, they were all really good. Um... I wouldn't change that. Like, Dark Ruler was a last minute addition. I had it all on the side. Mm -hmm. But Dark Ruler in the main was really, really sick. How often did you resolve this? Um, I resolved it like three times, I think, today. Um, and to be honest with you, I would actually play um, the Daruma Cannon or something, the one that like books things and it's a trap. The trap, yeah. Yeah, because I found that like people hand trap me and then I didn't have something to set. So I ended up setting like Drytron Nova or something. So I wanted, I should play like one card that I can set and activate on my opponent's turn with this. Um, that's the only thing I would actually change, but otherwise, like, I was pretty happy with these. Okay. And then, uh, two Ritual Spell. If you play the Cash matchup, um, you need to play two or else they banish one and you just can't play. So you have to play two right now. Um, and then one Called by the Grave. Yeah. Okay. Up. Yeah. Of course. So when you said it was 42 in the main deck? It was 42, yeah. 42 in the main deck. All right. I want to see this extra deck because I've never seen this card before. Yeah. I have no idea what this card even is. So this one's a Dynamondo. It came out pretty recently, but it allows you to lock out your opponent on your opponent's turn. Um, but basically, you can special summon. You can quick effect, tag out, send it send it to the grave, and special summon one ritual monster from your grave. So, so that's when you're summoning the max. Yeah, so you're summoning okay. the max off that. So you like end on this. They go draw on draw phase, effect, send to grave. Okay, special summon this, effect, costs and the grave so it dodges like imperms um the only real out to that is like ghost bell and called by okay um which never happened so yeah dynamondo is crazy and if you're not um locking people out with this card too um it also has another effect where you can shuffle back a ritual monster and target one um one card or one monster i think uh on their turn on their board and shuffle it back into the deck so oh, okay. um it's also kind of like spot removal as well yeah that was really good um, played one Relinquish Anima because people aren't respecting zones, apparently. So, numerous times I'm, like, stealing Fenrir's. I'm stealing, like, I Lava Golem them. I have Lava Golem on the side, so I Lava Golem, put it in there. Anima, steal the Lava Golem. So, That's Anima's so a good. 3k beater. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, Anima was really good. And then, like, I wasn't really worried about the zones, too, because, like, you play Link Rebo sometimes if you want the zone pointing down. Um, but I end up just, like contributing over this with like vanity's ruler or like using this to climb into like nightmare phoenix or something so like there's other ways to play around like not having the arrow pointing down but like animal was so good if people weren't respecting like the the columns yep um one herald of mirage lights this one was for uh people that wanted to imperm or like book of moon my vanity's ruler this is a spell trap negate if you send a fairy so it's actually kind of nice because you play the Curry Kara's in the deck and you can send a Curry Kara off of this because it just sends fairy. You don't need a light fairy. Mm -hmm. um, so you can send Curry Kara, Lancia, Herald of Orange Light, Ben 10 if you wanted. Um, and then, yeah, you protect your vanities. So this is just to protect vanities. Oh, and then people would normal summon as well and try to beat over this. And then you just like get recursion. So like if they normal summon beat over this, you can add back uh, Ben 10 and your like oh, ritual okay. spell as well. Yeah. Uh, two Fafnir. That's pretty standard. I don't think I have to explain that one. Uh, Entis and uh, Herald of uh, the Arclight for Diviner, uh, just as options. Uh, one Boral Sword. I played Boral Sword over Access Code uh, because Boral Sword plus 2k without anything on their board is game. Okay. So if I go Boral Sword and then activate Drytron Nova, summon an attack. 3k 2k effect 3k is 8k okay so boral sword was just like enabler for like otks and stuff it was really good i wouldn't play access code i played boral sword over that okay um ip and nightmare phoenix for like link 2 climbing um so i can go into boral sword also to use it like sometimes you just make uh phoenix 
um, when you send, like, you make Phoenix with, like, Natasha and something else just to get Natasha engraved, and then you steal shit, and then you make Boar Sword with this, and it's, like, really good. Um, I guess it makes sense. You're not playing any Link 3s, right? No, I'm not playing so, any yeah, Link So, yeah, so Axis is not just... You're not getting the full value of yeah. an Axis either, right? Yeah. So. This used to be uh, Unicorn, um, but I found just, like, Phoenix is fine because you're just making Link 2s with it, so it's okay. Okay. Um, play two Zeus. Um, you have to play two because Cash is going to rip one, so you have to play two. Um, it's pretty standard. The one Beatrice is good. Um, Beatrice is good for the one name hands. Um, you need it for combo. Yep. Um, one downward for the Zeus, and then one uh, Fuko. Oh, okay. So Fuko is nice because if I'm getting drolled, which happened a lot today in game one, surprisingly, you just end on like Fuko pass. Um, so basically, it's unaffected, and then uh, if they try to battle and kill it, then you can just detach two and protect it from battle. So it really just lingers on the board. Um, and so they kind of do like a mediocre board, and then you go, okay, attack, and then overlay the downward and Zeus. Um, and if they don't, sometimes people don't really, really read this card as well, and they just assume that it can't be destroyed by battle so i have the materials underneath it and i battle and then i don't even go downward i get turn priority main phase two um and then i make zeus uh before they can do anything um and then just wipe the board so fuko is really good especially okay. under troll so i wouldn't cut that sometimes people play the lyralisk but like fuko was so good yeah and then the side deck played three ash and obviously i lost to the first place winner josh so Maybe there's some reason to play Ash in the main because yeah. uh, Branded Fusion is a very, very good card. Um, but like Ash in the side was okay. If I had room in here, if I wasn't playing the Thrust Package, I'd play more Hand Traps and Ash would okay. be in there. Um, but like Ash in the side was like was fine. Uh, Lava Golem. Um, it was good. Um, again, for stealing with like Relinquished Anima and Declaring Bodies was really good. There's an argument for um, Volcanic Queen, which is like the same card, but it just tributes one. Yep. So if they go a Rise Heart Pass, then you can Volcanic Queen and then do the same thing. Um, so it's just like a toss up, but I think that's important to have like the Kaiju kind of removal. Uh, two Ghost Bell um, was for Math Mech and for Branded. Um, I played one Math Mech, I bricked, so he just beat me. He didn't see Ghost Bell, so it's whatever. Um, and then Ghost Bell into the uh, Josh matchup um i didn't see it so yeah but if i could play three then maybe i'd play three uh one extra lancia um just to search off uh ben 10 but also it's good into some matchups um it wasn't it was just kind of like a blanket like hand trap wasn't like thinking like oh this is good against particular matchups i was like lance is just good in some in ways against pots yeah um this is a cool card um odd eyes gravity dragon i never summoned it but like in theory this card's actually kind of sick um, basically you summon it and it removes, it's really good into back row decks. Um, and it basically removes the back row and they can't respond to it. Um, and the nice thing is too, because I'm playing the Dynamondo, um, you can end on this and then make Dynamondo. And then on their turn, when they reestablish all their back row, you can just go Dynamondo, effect, summon this back get rid of everything. and then you can get rid of everything else again. Yeah. Cause this is just on a uh, special summon. It doesn't have to be ritual summon. So that's really good too. And then uh, three Cyclone, oh, sorry, two Cyclone, and then two Dark Ruler, oh. and then one D-Barrier. Um, Cyclone could have been three for the Naturia matchup, but I didn't, I'm glad I didn't play three because I didn't play any Naturia today. Yep. Um, and then I had one Dark Ruler in the main for the Thrust, so just siding in the extra one. And then this was also for Thrust as well. But yeah, everything else is pretty good. Dang, I'm yeah. going to be honest with you. I, like, I did not expect uh, Drytron to be top in now. Yeah, I, I didn't expect it, and I, I, I'm I a pretty realistic player, um, but I was really happy with my results today. No, so. congratulations. Yeah. That's, that's imp I would say that's impressive. And I, yeah. I'm going to be honest with you. I was going to say this in the middle of the profile, but I forgot Benton came back to three. Yeah, Benton's at three. Which yeah, is I thought it was at one still. Yeah, there's no need to play um, Idaton because uh, Benton and Natasha just do everything you that need you to need do. to get done. Yeah, and you're playing two ritual spell now too. So like Idaton is like, unless you want the extra Natasha fodder, but like you don't need it. I think three Benton Natasha was perfect. Okay, yeah. well, congratulations. Uh, yeah. Before we end the video though, do you have any shoutouts? Um, just my boys at Untouchables, Mississauga. Um, they're always supporting me, even though I play one of the best decks. They um, they know that uh, Vanity is really passive, always pretty good. <laughs> um, and uh, 
my girlfriend, she just lets me play Yu-Gi-Oh sometimes, so... Um, Yo, we all need a girlfriend who lets yeah. us play Yu-Gi-Oh sometimes. Yeah, she's kind of nice with that. <laughs> that's important. That's pretty yeah. important. Yeah. yeah. All right, that's good. Yeah. Congratulations. Thanks, Thank man. you for the profile. I appreciate, appreciate you. Mm -hmm. With that guy, Spanko. And 15th place, David. Signing out. Peace.